Good morning. It's seven o'clock and I've just arrived in Bern and I've come to discover Bern's famous onion market. Bern is the capital of Switzerland and I've been hearing about the onion market for about 20 years now and it's the first time that I've been able to come. Now technically I'm already late because though it's only seven o'clock in the morning and the market opens at six o'clock apparently the Bernese come here as of four o'clock in the morning to try and get their hands on the best looking onion wreaths. And my first impression is that it smells of hot wine, garlic, and onions. Now, the story behind the onion market goes back to 1405 and the great fire that destroyed more than a hundred houses in Bern. And apparently, the Fribourgeois from the neighboring canton of Fribourg came to help the Bernese without the fire. And to thank the people of Fribourg, the Bernese allowed them to come to the fair to sell their onions. A little bit of mistletoe there. Now, most probably it wasn't just onions. It was also produce of different sorts. But in tradition, it's gone down as the onion market. Basically, which means that the people from Fribourg would come down to Bern to sell their fruit and veg at the market here. And now apparently a big part of the fun is to come and buy strings of onions or sweets that resemble onions which I can see that most people are actually wearing around their necks. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh gosh, the smell is so strong. Now there's garlic for you. I think it's too early to try one. Oh, garlic bread. I'll have to come back for that. You can even get your gingerbread with garlic on it. And of course the bear, which is the symbol of burn. Bears were a major part of the economic system in the Middle Ages. The organization of fairs was very regulated in strategic places. <laughs> People keep throwing confetti at me. And so to give the bourgeois the right to come and sell their produce at the fair in Bern, which is in a major capital central marketplace, economic hub, was giving them a great privilege. Let's see what's going on there. Für den Hebel zu behalten, der 3 mm ist für mich die ideale Dicke. Und jetzt kommt es ein bisschen darauf an, wie man das Gemüse gegeben hat. Oder? Die einen essen sind ein bisschen dicker, die anderen ein bisschen dünner. Das wäre jetzt der Hebel auf 3 mm. Jetzt kannst du sagen, nein, du musst ein bisschen dicker anlassen. Bernen ist is in der German-speaking part of Switzerland, but I can actually hear a lot of French. Well, here's my breakfast. Mulled wine and garlic bread. Zwiebelpüppchen, which means little onion dolls.
How do you like the baby onions? Just a hundred francs will buy you that lovely long string of onions. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> well, that was interesting. And I'm leaving the smell behind, the overbearing, overpowering smell of onions and garlic. Although I'm probably bringing it with me, seeing what I've just eaten. And I'm going home. And I would never have thought I'd ever see so many onions in my life. <laughs>